Hi, I'm Brian Davis from Seven Springs Mountain Resort Snow Sports School, and I'm here today to talk about the physics involved in snowboarding. For this, you're going to need a snowboard. And one of the primary things that causes people to fall in snowboarding is maybe not understanding the physics involved in snowboarding. It leads to aggressive maneuvers that are probably not necessary. And normally those aggressive remove, uh, movements can result in you hitting the ground. Physics is best applied to snowboarding by saying what we do to have fun out here is applying physics in a winter envi uh, environment to enjoy a frozen surface with a snowboard. Gravity is always pulling you towards the earth. When riding a snowboard, you need to have your weight centered over the edge that you're engaging in the surface. And that centering has to be on what I like to call the line of apparent gravity. If you think about riding a bicycle, when you tip a bicycle to make a turn, the angle created is a combination of the forces created by the turn itself, the centripetal force, that force that holds you in the turn, keeps you from traveling along a tangent to the outside, and the gravitational pull of the earth kind of creates an angle that that bicycle must be on. There are two options there. If you turn too hard or lean too much, you fall to the inside. The tire goes one way, your body goes the other way, down to the earth. If you don't tip enough on that bicycle, you don't make the turn. You keep running in a straighter line. Well, that applies here, that line of apparent gravity, the combination of those two forces to your snowboard. Your body must be centered on that line of apparent gravity over the edge you're engaging in the earth. If you can do that, you will effectively apply the physics involved in snowboarding to the beginning steps of learning to snowboard. And that is my take on the initial physics of snowboarding.